And uh, Steve Pierce and I can speak from experience because today at about 12 o'clock, we both checked uh, the Google Maps. It looked great, <laughs> <laughs> all green. We thought it was no problem going over the Glen Jackson Bridge, and we left at about 1 o'clock. And what did we find? We found a lot of traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday I tried I-5, that took 45 minutes to an hour on a Saturday. Today I took 205 and it took a little bit longer on 205. So yeah, boy, uh, just plan ahead, work from home if you can. Give the boss a call right now, 10, 15 at night, tell him you're not coming in. I don't, I don't know if that'll work, but uh, hey, I can bring you some nice weather for the commute tomorrow. We're definitely gonna see that. Here's a live look outside Seaside right now. 59 degrees, calm wind. A couple of bonfires there on the beach. A nice evening out there along the coast. No rain back here in downtown Portland. In the Rose City, 63 degrees. Partly cloudy skies. The humidity is at 81%. And the winds are uh, west-southwest at 3 miles per hour. And I expect most of the night, uh, if not all of the night, to be uh, oh, temperatures in the 50s. No rainfall coming up. Okay, current winds. Calm in Vancouver. Just a few miles an hour up and down the I-5 corridor. Calm along the coast. And a quiet night over in central and eastern Oregon as well. Current temperatures here now 63 at Vancouver and Portland, 59 in Salem, 50s along the coast. Central and east side of the state beginning to cool down now. Burns at 48. We had temperatures over there last night in the upper 30s. It is getting to be that time of the year. Satellite and radar shows uh, no returns on the radar in the valley or along the coast, but we do have those high clouds streaming in. They'll continue overnight tonight. Expect some fog and low clouds in the valley and along the coast to start your morning tomorrow. 75 in Vancouver today, 74 in Portland. Average is 75, so we're right on average. Nice day along the coast. Temperatures in the 70s, central and east side of the state. Also in the 70s, a warm spot there was 82 at the Dalles. Okay, start your morning out tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy temperatures in the 50s. We'll break those clouds up in the afternoon. We'll warm up to around 70 or lower 70s for a daytime high. So all in all, about an average late summer early fall day in the Portland metro area. All right, weather headlines, we'll call it dry weather to start the week, and then the rain returns on Wednesday. Sunshine returns again late in the week, so if you can handle a little bit of rain coming up, oh, Wednesday looks like the day that it's gonna be the wettest in the next seven. Future cast, got the clouds, some clearing tomorrow, and then a few morning clouds coming up on uh, Tuesday morning with a chance of a sprinkle. Now look at this, uh, models are going to change as this gets closer, but models saying Wednesday could be a potentially very wet day depending on where the rain band sets up in the valley. Now this will change, so you'll wanna stay uh, tuned to coin six. Uh, Natasha will be in tomorrow. She'll give you a full update on just how much rain we're gonna see, but it looks like a good soaker coming for uh, parts of Northwest Oregon, Southwest Washington. All right, mostly sunny tomorrow. We'll go 73 for a high, again dry mostly on Tuesday, and then the soaker on Wednesday. And then that looks like a fall forecast till we get to the weekend, Wayne, then it's looking pretty good again, not too bad. Yeah, nice looking forecast there. Still ahead, 